Welcome to Always Alyssa. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm gonna be making a super cute art piece in today's video, but before I get started, I wanted to talk about a few things. So the first thing is we had some foreign exchange students, which you probably remember me saying that from my life update I did a little while back. And they were so nice. It was so much fun to have them in our house. But the sad thing is they left yesterday. So it was really sad to say goodbye. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that they brought me from China. So first is this adorable little dragon keychain. Like, isn't this just so cute? I'm totally gonna display this either in my room or on my backpacks or something like that because it's adorable. Next is this pretty bracelet. It has two little Chinese letters or characters on it and they mean exuberant and money, which is so cool. The next item might just be my favorite, but then again, I really like all of them. Check it out. It's a super cute sweatshirt. And I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at it what size it is, but apparently it is a large, but to me, it looks like it would be like either a small or a medium here in America. So clearly sizes are pretty different, but it did fit. The only thing is the sleeves were a little bit short. <laughs> so I'm still gonna wear it. It is so cute. I love it so much. Next, I'm gonna answer a question you guys have been asking a lot on my TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube accounts. What brand of our supplies do I use? and where do I get them? A lot of the work I do is in colored pencil. I like to use that medium a lot. And the one I most use is Prismacolor. They are my very favorite and also good quality. I might sometimes use other brands, but very, very rarely. As far as sketchbooks go, I usually use Strathmore or Canson. In fact, this is the one I'm going to be using in today's video. I will be drawing yet another realistic colored pencil art piece, which I'm very excited about because sadly enough, I haven't done one in a couple months or longer because we've been gone. So I'm excited to do this one. I have a feeling it's gonna turn out pretty cute too. It's going to be an ice cream sundae. I know we all love sweets. I mean, who doesn't? So this should be a fun one. Before I get started, I'm gonna show you guys my desk setup. I know it probably looks a bit messy. Don't mind that. I know there's like stuff everywhere, but I usually don't have these two lights here. Only when I'm filming. So I have this one. Let me just, there we go. And I'll angle it towards my paper like that. And I'll put my phone right here so I can film the art. And for this one right here, I'll just turn it on and switch it to the other mode. And there we go, that's how I get my lighting. Oh yeah, by the way, look at this cute little piece I just finished. It's of Queen, my favorite band. Here is my main reference picture that I'm going to be using. Now let's get started. Guys, please tell me I'm not the only one who does this. I can like never start an art piece on the front page of a sketchbook. I don't know why, but I always like flip somewhere to the middle to start. Like, am I the only one who does that? Anyways, I'm going to start off this piece by sketching it first with a pencil and using a ruler as a bit of a guide.
Alright everyone, I just finished the art piece and I have to say I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. It looks pretty realistic and yummy. I don't even really like vanilla ice cream, but just looking at this it makes me want to eat it. So that must be a good sign. I have to be honest, this is probably going to be one of my new favorite pieces. I think everything about it is amazing. I absolutely love the chocolate that's dripping down from the top. It looks really realistic, especially like with the ice cream. I think I did a really good job on that part. And I have to say this art piece did take me forever, over like two weeks, mostly because for one of those weeks I was like really sick and I literally could not work on it for a whole week straight. So I just sat on my desk collecting dust. But luckily I got to finish it because I'm not sick anymore. Thank goodness. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this sweater yet, but like, isn't it so cute? It's kind of like um, ombre to this like pink color. I love it. Anyways, I think this turned out amazing and please be sure to comment what you guys think and what I should do in my next art video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.